Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me and I hope you're having a good day. We are continuing our playthrough of Ultimate General American Revolution. Last episode was, we had a pretty good time of it. Uh, we took Fort Stevens back in a pretty large battle. We also took Hubberton back, which was really nothing. Also, without clicking out, although you can't see, uh, we did actually take a third rate ship of the line, which is always good. That's really going to help our Navy out coming in the future. We're finally starting to build out a Navy with a third rate. We should be able to take out, take on other third rates as well as, and really build our Navy that way. Uh, so we're in a pretty good spot. We are now moving on a pretty large force, about 2,000 men, highly shattered after the most of them were leftovers from the Battle of Fort Stevens. Uh, so this should be a pretty interesting battle. It's saying we're relatively evenly matched, but I feel like we're going to just roll over the British in this one. We do have our cavalry. In, uh, when I was looking at it, it did say they had cavalry, but I believe it was actually representative of old Thomas Gage here. I believe this is supposed to be Thomas Gage, if I'm not mistaken. So, we're, like I said, we're in a really good spot. I'm really happy with th how things are going. After we take Fort Lovell, we should be able to move on Portsmouth pretty easily. Because we have pretty much even forces between the two at the moment. And, of course, we'll probably disengage some forces to head that way. Probably we'll send all the regular army troops that we have up here down to assist at Portsmouth. So, yeah, we should have an easy time of it. And then, like I said, it's really wide open. We might even make some more movements up north because, like I said, we probably are going to stop around July. Uh, so this probably will be our last episode before, unless they, of course, post uh, the uh, 1776 campaign sometime soon. Because, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it, uh, it's going to start about halfway through the year if 1776 at least that would make sense historically that's where the expansion would be but let's go ahead we're going to play this first battle for fort level and we're going to see how it goes all right looks like most of their forces are actually behind the fort we are not going to result we're going to let the british come to us it is going to be kind of annoying it looks like there's a town right between us and the fort uh so we are going to have to contend with that a little bit uh at, but like I said, the British should come to us. Technically, they were marching out to meet us. Let's see. Let's get our bearings. Where's our army? There we go. So we're going to send up our skirmishers, of course, first. Just to hold around the town. Slow down the enemy. We are going to have to combine some of these guys. Though, we had... Quite significant casualties in the last battle. This is another small unit up there. So let's actually just get these two up there first. And then we'll combine them up here. We'll also combine a bunch of these units as well. Oh, the K, these. Oh, I didn't select. There we go. Combine him as well. Start moving up some artillery. Or really, I think uh, we might actually move back artillery. Let's have a nice little artillery battery here, right here in the middle. Let's form up all three of these units. Let's form up. Can we form up? Let's see if we can make one massive unit right there. We actually have another skirmisher unit we'll send up. Some of these are... What do we have up here? Okay, so this is actually a regular army one, so we'll send him here. These two can actually combine, because he's a militia. And then, where did I see it? We had him here. They actually cannot combine, for whatever reason. Probably guns, more than likely. I'm assuming it's because of the guns they have. So we're actually just going to maybe hold these guys back. Maybe just have them make up our flank. I don't really care if I lose my militia skirmishers. It's going to be a lot of combining of forces, though. Because, like I said, these guys were all in part of the last battle. So we're all pretty... Well, actually, we got all three of these. We can combine up. 
get him out. Don't know if I selected these two to combine, but we'll do that. I think we combined all four of those. We actually have some pretty healthy units. And... Alright, let's see what we want to do. I did have these guys part of a grand artillery battery, but we're actually going to move them over there. We have this guy, this one, this one form up a little bit of a middle artillery battery. Relatively right there. And then we'll have maybe these two form up, maybe right in front of this tree line slightly. I don't want them behind it. Then we'll have this guy all the way over here. Then, yeah, we'll probably situate the... And we have another. So we'll get him up here. Let's get everybody moving so we can figure out troop movements. We actually have more artillery back here as well. Lots of artillery to play around with. So maybe we... These guys are going all the way over there. So maybe we just have a second line just in case. Back here. We won't commit everybody. Can we not combine these two? Let's just combine those into them because they weren't going after anybody. Let's actually move these artillery guns back. I don't like the fact that our line won't be all that together. We will still have this guy all the way out on the flank. He's a 12 pounder, so he should have some range to him. Get these guys moving backwards until I can get everybody situated. These larger units out, larger militia units out this way. These other skirmisher units all formed up, so we'll get them out here while we wait to see what the British do. Watch this be the one episode where they actually make us come to them. We'll just have these guys hold the far right flank. Maybe even have them up in these trees. him can move up actually still no sign of the British have this large unit hold the space between the guns move him back This may be one of those episodes we might actually have to get the British. We might have to go to the British, that is. Because it does not look like they are moving out on us.
They are very content with just holding their position, apparently. There we go. I think we just triggered them to finally come. So let's head back here. We'll finish forming up our lines. Let's actually just have a mass battery right here. Sort of fill in the cracks. Let's try and goad them to come in our way. Get everybody organized. Cavalry out here. Shift everybody down. Bingo. Let's hit them in the rear. Alright, they should take care of that scrum shooting it relatively easily. them out of there I think. Oh they got routed anyway so. I'm 
One thing I didn't do was put all these guys in hold positions. Come down my line and do that. Alright, this should be an easy battle. We should clean up on them relatively easily here. Looks like those grenadiers may. No, nah, they're not gonna go up against our cavalry. No way. Like they're going to. Let's get them away. I don't want them shooting into us. Line is holding. That should be an easy one to route right there. Oh, no, don't move, don't move. There we go. There were some good volleys with this with the shot there. That grenadier unit is coming after us so hard. That's actually quite funny. Maybe we can get a surrender. Really wish I had skirmisher cavalry. One day. We're getting close. Maybe this guy we can get a surrender out of, or at least shatter him. A surrender out there. Got another surrender. More surrenders. Got him completely broken. So, what we could do, at the very least, we could probably pick off some of these smaller... Well, let's see if we can't destroy him. That's about all we could do, probably. Yeah, we've destroyed him. Maybe we'll be able to... Hold on, let me silence all my guns. I don't want anybody shooting into me. I might be able to charge into these guys with my infantry. Might be able to get one more unit broken. Cavalry should be able to slow them up enough. And make every, sure everybody's holding fire on this. He might, we might be able to catch up to him. And why not? We'll go after him as well. I don't think we'll catch up to him, but we might. Got a couple more guns. Make sure they hold fire. Alright, let's see if we can't round up a few more of these guys.
got him. Took some friendly fire, but that's not too bad. Yeah, we're not gonna get him. Alright, well that's good enough. Yeah, it took another seven, uh, 800, so they got another about 1,000 men. Uh, they might head to Portsmouth, so we'll have to wait and see. We only took 200 casualties, so that's, I'm very happy with that. Sure, got a little bit more ammo. That's not nothing to... Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder how many surrenders we might get. wonder if we can't kill Gage. That'd be awesome. No, it doesn't look like it. I'd rather try and get him. You guys gonna put a volley into him? What's going on? Ah, yeah, there we go. We got a surrender too. So none of the forces from Fort Level made it out. That's good to see. Get those guys leaving the brigade. Get them to leave the brigade as well. These are the regulars, right? That's who I want. Our regular unit, army units. Do we have any? Yeah, we got a few up here. I'm gonna send all of our regular army units to ma match with the guys in Salem, as well as our cavalry. So we have them man for level. Let's get Arnold down there as well so we can I'm not sure who I just sent down there. Pelote is let's get them in Fort Stevens. Cutter is the one. Morgan is militia. We'll get that in Fort Stevens. All right, so everything is looking good. We have militia only up here. Morgan is militia. It's hard to tell when it's not on. Why does it look like this militia mixed in with cutler? But there isn't. It's just the spam brigade. Yeah, they're all. Alright, we'll take a donation. We rescued some prisoners, so there we go. Okay, nothing going on down here. We definitely need those low ranking officers. Did we ever. No, we did not. So we'll get everybody back to Salem, and then we will come out. How is our fleet doing down here? We are almost fully manned, but their sails definitely need to be healed. Something fierce. We'll let them rest up in Salem for a while. And we are actually out of money again. Alright, so let's go to the market. Let's go ahead. I think we can sell off all these civilian muskets. And... God, we got a lot of brown besses now. That's nice. Wish we could get more of their dragoon carbines. Uh, let's just go ahead and sell off all the Charlevilles. Well, which one's... What is better, actually? Actually, the Charlevilles are actually better than the U.S. muskets, but we can always have a steady supply of U.S. muskets coming in. So we'll sell them off. Not a big deal. 
what's nice is I have not had to sell my goods for a while. And as you can see, we are stocked up. Uh, not so much with any of this stuff, surprisingly. I guess I had been selling the furs at the very least. Now this is definitely more than these guys can actually hold. Yeah, by a long shot. But we'll let them rest up for a little bit and then we'll get them moving. I probably won't even form this group into brigades. But we'll let everybody rest. That'll be a good indication. And we should finish this up right before July. We got a donation. We'll keep the money coming. We'll be out of muskets, officers, mostly officers. Poisoned wells, god dang. Zero, lost zero soldiers, okay. Well, I guess we didn't lose any soldiers, that's not a big deal. Let's get everybody out. I know, you, I always forget you can select everybody in the garrison. Form them up into an army, and everybody head towards Portsmouth. And here we go. Most of them are going to be coming in as reinforcements. Which is kind of annoying. But I think, well, well I don't think it's going to matter too much. Because they should all be coming from one direction, so... Yeah, it shouldn't matter too much. So let's play this battle, and hopefully this big British force that we've been dealing with for the past few episodes will come to an end here. Alright, so... Well, hopefully the British just don't rout, because I just noticed that they... <laughs> the balance of power is so far off. Hopefully the British don't rout. That would be annoying. I mean, technically we are relatively evenly... Ma I mean, not really. I actually have them outnumbered by several thousand men. But, just in case they don't, let's go ahead and start getting everybody formed up. Let's see. We'll break the artillery into pairs. Let's get him going this way. Maybe have another battery over here. Wait, how far out? Yeah, right along this road, I think. Let's do two, two. Have two over here. A little bit farther forward. Two over here, and then maybe two more, maybe over here. Do we have any more artillery? We do. We have another gun back here. Um, maybe just to leave that one in reserve. Get our skirmishers out. There's one there. Send him all the way up there. Can we form these two up? We cannot. So we'll take the bigger one and we'll spread them out. Send him up there. Can we form these two? No. That's okay. We'll send them out here. This guy's not doing anything. Send him out here. do actually have some supply stretchers. These two we can't do anything with. Oh well, we'll send them up forward. And then we'll figure out the infantry as we go.
All right, well, pretty large force right in front of us. Might actually have these guys scoot back some. Don't think we need to send them all. Well, we might actually Let's send them to that those woods. Let's get our cavalry out and Roman. We have so many troops. Especially formed up into these large brigades. Which I'm not a, a proponent of too much. It's just it's crazy that they are just so large. Looks like we had a complete shatter over here. One of those guys that's not out there. Or maybe not. We don't have anybody over here, so let's get some men up on this flank. What else we got? Oh man, we still got more forces down here. Let's get some guys up onto this flank, I guess. Don't know if we have any reserves heading that way or not. I think we do, actually. Let's get these guys maybe up here in reserve. Maybe on either side of this gun. Spread the supply stretchers out a bit. Alright, let's bring everybody in. Get these guys forward of our artillery a little. Lines are starting to come together. Actually, I don't think I need quite so many reinforcements out this way, so I'm gonna bring some of them back in. Doesn't look like the British are massing too many troops out here. Looks like most of them are actually on this side. Let's get make sure we get my general up here. All right, now we can let's get this going at full full speed.
pretty sure this army has nothing but big guns. At least six pounders, if not twelve pounders. Now we're getting a little bit of friendly fire in here. Sneak our cavalry up and around, see if we can't locate some of that artillery, British artillery. Wow, the supply stretcher emptied out really quickly. Alright, so we get, do have one British gun that I can see so far. Yeah, not in a hold stance, just make sure these guys are in a hold stance over here. On your job. Yeah, we got enough reinforcements over here, so let's get these guys. Maybe. I don't even know where to put these guys other than in deep reserves. Alright, let's get the general back over here. Because now they're starting to shift everybody to the, our left here. Telling you, once you start getting good weapons, it really becomes so easy to beat the British. Granted, we are on just normal difficulty, which I can't forget that. Oh, they do have troops coming in, so we better be careful with our cavalry. Let's make sure we get our skirmishers out on our flanks. Let's get these guys going to where all the ammo is needed. Let's get these skirmishers over here. The skirmishers we have over here are a little more ha well, well to do. Let's take a look. Yeah, 12 pound field gun. 12 pound field gun. A uh, four pounder. A couple four pounders actually. 12 pounder. Four pound. Yeah, three pounder. I thought I had. I didn't think I had any three pounders left with my regular army units.
All right, let's wheel these guys. Move forward to deny our flank. We're just slaughtering the British. I love it. I don't know if we totally destroyed that unit or or not. Let's see. Let's get our skirmishers starting to come around the flank here. Supply structure is empty. General moving across. Now they're pushing our right again. Alright, we're pushing forward on the left. I don't want to get too far ahead of my lines so. though. There's no reason to overextend. See if we can't get a good charge in on that unit. Infantry hiding in the field there. Don't know how much more troops the British have to send at us, that's the thing. Ooh, a shooting all the way. Oh, it might be my skirmishers actually. Yeah, we routed that unit. Looks like they're preserving their artillery at the moment. Which isn't a bad tactic by them. Cause yeah, all their guys are guarding their artillery now. We just routed it. So let's go after their artillery then. Don't know how many we'll get, but we'll try our best. I don't want to select the skirmishery units, but we can use them to slow them down. Uh, but yeah, mostly I want to aim for their artillery. I actually don't even know how many artillery pieces they had. I only see two at the moment. Let's get everybody charging up there in case they have more that we then spot. They're already charging. Yeah. Might be able to pick off some of these weakened units too. He's already charging, so yeah, let's go after some of these weakened units as well. We do have some more artillery up here. Cavalry up there to slow him down. Oh wow, they actually had a stew quite a big force up there as well.
have to them cavalry slow them down. All right, well, that was a complete route of the British. I'm not sure what's going on here. I know the artillery battery surrendered, but I'm not sure what's going on here. There we go, and we got them to break. Alright, so. Totally routed the British. Wow. They took about half, almost half, of their force was lost. We only took 357 casualties. You cannot beat those numbers at the moment. And looks like we got a few surrenders as well. Which we will take. Let's move about. Let's move four of our forces up into Portsmouth. Let's make sure we capture these supplies. I don't know where our cavalry is. Let's get them up here as well to capture some supplies. And then the rest will move towards. Salem and back to Boston. And of course we'll garrison in Portsmouth as well. And we'll probably send Bandit up to take a look at what they have in Falmouth. Because I think, what, about 2,000 of their troops fell back. Spreading the vision. We get 10 extra officers. We're definitely going to need that. Wow, only about 2,000 troops have been Falmouth now. So we have pretty much handedly destroyed most of that British fleet that came in. And you combine that with our recent gains, our third rate... All these uh, forts have been retaken. Let's also not forget that we still hold the north here. And slowly everybody's starting to come under. Uh, Montreal is actually at 56% loyalty now. A lot of that definitely helps with the printing press. Still, Fort St. John's is pretty weak. And you know what we actually have not done in a while? Let's slow down time. We actually have not gone... No, that's not the one. Colonies Management... We have not taken a look at that in this in a while. So we actually have few colonies that are not even doing anything at the moment. And that, in fact, a lot of these guys are still on provision that I set back when... Uh... So let's get everybody switched back to mining. Oh, wait. Is this mining? Okay, yeah, it's on mining. I meant to switch everybody to provision as we got closer to the winter, and I never did. That's right. And look at that, we're actually at 80% government structure. Let's do zero for taxation level, but eh. So slowly but surely we are taking the br everything up here. In the oh wow, I, I hate that bug. It go disappears pretty quickly. Let's actually take Bandit while we wait out. Like I said, we're probably not going to do too much more. We could easily march on Falmouth pretty easily actually but we're not going to we're gonna take bandit on a bit of a scouting run it's just to see what all the British have so we know they have 2,000 troops at Falmouth not sure where he's going it looks like he's just chasing after me which is fine Another 680 at Fort George. They do actually have quite a... Everything is manned up here, at least. Let's 
Okay, good 2,000 troops at Fort Frank. About 2,000 troops at Fort Halifax. So, yeah, they still have a good sizable army to contend with. Yeah, it's not too much. I uh, don't want to get too far away, so we'll take the easy way back. We'll just have them spin all the way around. So, oh, our finances are in the, the red again, so. God, we already have 159 civilian muskets. Wow, guys. What a way to end the year, or the current playthrough, at least. Like I said, we're about a week away from July. But I think this is probably where we're going to end it. I might do some restructuring. Make sure everybody has the best guns available. Off screen. I won't do that on screen. Unless. Uh, I don't know. Yeah I'll probably do it off screen. Mess around with that stuff. But yeah. Hopefully they drop the, the patch here soon. Which would include the. Oh wow. I'm really liking how much we have. We really need to start spending some money uh, to be able to start putting together some better buildings and everything up here. But hopefully, yeah, we get some that patch here soon so we can continue on the 1776 campaign. Because, like I said, I don't really want to go too crazy yet with that. Just because, uh, like I said, I think it should be coming here well, the patch should drop here soon. We need the money. And it's Connecticut. Alright. Quicker research speed for... 180 days? There we go. That should help out a lot. I'm going to turn this to slow. But yeah, hopefully the patch drops soon. Like I said, I'm not done with the game. I'm going to play around with a few things. Probably nothing major. This is still going to be our, our number one playthrough right now. For the early access, at least. Uh, but I will play around. I have a few ideas to keep this game going for a little bit longer until we get the patch. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully this has been an entertaining series for you so far. And yeah. Thank you. And as always. Well. Bye.